Let's go, baby! Woo -hoo -hoo. Woo. Let's go! Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. He's hooked on a 5500. That's Woo. crazy. 5500 spin fisher. Let's go! That's your first thing. Let's see if we can do it. Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Caleb Basalti. Welcome back. My name's Caleb McCarty. And this video was awesome. Dave knew I never caught a sailfish ever in my life before. And he hooked one up and he says, Here, Caleb catches for a sailfish. But, anyways, ended up landing it. The video's epic. Um, we got all the, don't worry, we got all the permits, all the whatever licenses. Don't worry, Dave's a master at that. He's got everything. And it was legal by the time we got on the boat. The sail was pretty much dead because we caught him on such light tackle. He did, you know, you'll see in the video, he did a lot of runs. He jumped a lot. But I'm super happy that we had, dang, we had a lot of meat. Three of them, three of the bags are going to three different people to make some smoked fish dip. I have my own bag. Um, you can see that you're going to see the clean. And I'll make some, some cook. It's not going to be smoked fish dip because I don't have a smoker know how, but anyways thanks for tuning in i hope you enjoy the video please like and subscribe if you're liking this content and keep those lines tight get out there um we're gonna have to run the boat up on this oh it's a sailfish get him dave i think you that's your first sailfish let's see if we can do it first sailfish <laughs> that's crazy we got a sailfish on. Oh, Dave! That's awesome! Look at him go. Woo! He's jumping. My first sailfish. Woo! Woo! Let's go! He's running. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I gotta stop saying woohoo every time we jump. Just trying to keep that line tight. This is my first fail sailfish in my life I had on. <coughs> Come on. <coughs> Come on, stay on. There he is. He's right here. I want to see him do another jump. A P3. He's hooked on a 5500. That's crazy. 5500 spin fisher. The chances of that. Oh my God. Look at that beast of a fish. <laughs> Look at it.
Wore his ass out. Such a beautiful fish. Just want to touch him. You got gloves, Dave? Gonna be a long fight. These fish can fight. Here he is, here he comes up. Oh my God. There he goes, another run. He's in a jump. Here, he's got another run. <laughs> Let's go, baby. <laughs> Let's go. Please tell me I got that on video. Oh my God. Dude. That was awesome! It's gonna be a fight. Here he goes, he's about to jump again. He's about to jump, he's about to jump. Here he goes, here he goes. Woo! Let's go! Woo Get that line tight. He's trying to shake it. Oh my god. Man, I, I train in football for my whole life for this. Here you go. We gotta spin around, Dave. He's about to jump again. I can't believe it. I'm ready. 
Get me over there. Keeping the line tight. This fish can fight, man. That's what I'm talking about. It's right here, right here. He's about done. Is there a way we can grab the, you could grab the weed? Let me know. Sorry, Dave. Oh. You want to get him? I'm going to try to turn him this way. Here he comes. He might be honest. I'd like to get him on the other side. All right, let's do that. Turn them, turn the boat that way. Reverse. Here, he's coming. Just got my first selfie. Let's put this other ice in here too. See if we can down a little bit more of them yeah i guess lay that on i'd, I'd like to yeah, we'll, we'll just put it like that and as soon as we get in we can butcher them give him out I cut him in half. <laughs> yeah, I got one. Got pretty good picture. Here, I'm gonna All put right. him tail down. I'm gonna hold him though, yeah. so you can grab. Him. I got him. Right. Watch your face. I got him. Right. Just let him drop on there. You got him. Put him in, and then you're gonna put him into the into the uh, the cooler. The cooler. Uh, hate to do that to your pretty fish, but we gotta get him. I want to eat him. Uh, let's see if we can break this. Let's bring it over to the edge here. There you go. That piece goes up in the cooler. It's bleeding like crazy. All right, what we're gonna do? We'll cut it. Cut it out right, right here. Yeah, we'll cut it right there. Just 
So how, how do you preserve the bill? Well, what we're gonna do, you're gonna dig all this meat out of here, and you're gonna get some uh, Baraxo, and you're gonna, we're gonna soak them in Baraxo for about a week. Okay. And let it penetrate everything. And then take them out and dry them. All right, so this piece, Probably the best thing to do on this is if we can get this head off of him, and if we can, we probably ought to gut him, get all these guts out of him because we don't really need any of that. Let's see, what it, see, that's the spot where they lay that those these two fins in. It's in that. In this groove, yes, here. How about it? Give it a good pull. All that crap out of there. Yeah. And I'm going to cut it right here. Hold that whole belly and everything out of there. Let me know when it's good for me to grab it. Yeah. Get it all out of there. Okay. Well, let's flip him over. Getting this blood out? Yeah. Flip him over. It's good. Good. He's bleeding. Because it don't stand the meat, right? Right. Break the, you gotta break this head off. See if you can see if we can lay them like this one and break the head off. There you go. Good All right. There you go. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on. Yeah, this is cutting kind of through. All right. Just put it on the grass so it doesn't. We have blood going everywhere. All right, we need two pieces now to go up in the boat. So I would stick them up, up from there and just, you know, carry them over to there. And then we'll... I guess we'll start with the... Yeah. And then I'll come back and get the rest. I didn't tell them exactly what. All right, well, this is no different than any other fish in the sense that we got to go... We got to go down to the backbone. These guys got got a big backbone, okay? Mm -hmm. So, so we gotta slide it over that, get it. This is why I like to do them in in smaller pieces. It's just easier to work with. Yeah, it's it's just a. a Their, their fillet kind of falls apart more than other fish. Yeah, I see what you mean. It's kind of... Well, I guess like the sections of it. Yeah, it's... But... Hey, so when you originally ate them besides smoke... Let me get this knife. Yeah. When you originally cook these, do you bake them, smoke them? Like, what do you like to do? I, you know, I, I, I've not eaten them raw. I mean, not raw, but fresh. But I've heard that they're they're pretty darn good fresh. And then what we're gonna do is cut this cut this on um, this. See, let's see what we can do in terms of. I don't want to go too down into it. I want to get as much above the the red blood vein stuff as I can. Then you can cut the red off of that. Okay. We'll cut the red off of this. But see, it's it's a little bit hard to, to mess with because it hasn't stiffened up yet. 
so you know what I'm not even going to worry that much about the red but we'll just give it to these guys come at it from the other side too you guys find some fish today? yes nice. Kayla I got, got my it. first selfie nice we're gonna have smoked sailfish. There you go. I'll show you. And you know what he caught it on? What? What? A P3? Really? On a 5500 spinfish. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. It was it was like 15 minute fight, 20 minute. I bet on on a nice flight tackle. Smaller <laughs> pull like that. That's awesome. Yeah. Cool. We didn't find any kingfish today. Well. Found a rudder fish and lots of blue runners and Snappers. yeah, a little tri uh, triggers and some cool. yeah. But it was a little bit slow until uh, this guy showed up. Yeah, <laughs> that's awesome. Good job. <laughs> I gotta get back to work. I just wanted to come say. I, I let's see if we can. So we gotta get this on the right side of that. My knife is getting dull too. You can only you can only cut so much of this stuff and then it dulls out. Okay. Yeah, look right. at all look at all that meat. Oh, there's plenty there. Alright, and then you can uh, go get the the big boy. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. it's nice and cold. Divide it up three ways. What's this thing going in here? Is that a piece? Oh yeah. That's a piece. Let's see. You need a bag? Dave, Tim, Jim. I'll keep so. this one for me. I'm gonna save these guys. I have this as a souvenir. All right, y'all, so I'm back at the house and I got the sailfish. So everybody seems to do smoked fish dip, which I'm of course not gonna do. So my idea to try for the cook is I'm gonna do three different ways. I'm gonna grill one, I'm gonna panko one, I'm gonna saute one with butter, and I'm gonna eat them and see which one's the best. So let's get two of these here, and I'm just gonna get three chunks out to do the recipe. I do wanna save some for Liz's mom. So that's enough for me, to be honest. Cause she's gonna wanna do her little thing. And I'm gonna cut this. So I'm pretty much going to trim all the red off of this. So all the red here and off of all these flays and try to get them cleaned up. I'm not going to lie, these flays actually whitened up. When when I first uh, flayed them off of the, the sailfish, this meat was a lot darker. But it looks like it's a lot whiter now. And it looks like it's going to be pretty juicy. So this is the oil I'm going to use for the panko. get a little drizzle in there just enough to sear it and I'll be able to flip it on each side all right I got that grilling this one's on here So I got this one sauteing, this one smells really good, I'm really curious on how this is going to be. And then I got the sail going on the electric grill, this chunk, I kind of feel like if this was on, you know, using like wood chips or on a smoke grill, you know, get that blackened flavor and of course 
you know, it's going to taste a little better. And I'm assuming, you know, not having the butter on this, it might dry it out a little bit. But it's still, it's getting a little black on there, which I kind of want this to, you know, have that blackened on it. And then this one, I'm just kind of salting, like letting it cook in the butter. All right, so we got the sauteed piece done and it's cooked. So I'm gonna put this here on the side. All right, so we got the pankos in now. And this one that I'm growing is actually coming out pretty nice. And starting to get cooked in the meat. So I'm just gonna sear black in the, the sides. Should be done. Right here, you're gonna help me sear both sides now. So it's pretty much cooked on both sides. And I'm just letting it sear. The chunks are so thick, I cut them in like little nice like steak sized pieces you know thin enough so they'll cook and i'm just really slow pankoing them letting them cook slowly so the breading doesn't get burnt and they don't burn up and it will get through through the whole fish better but the panko is coming out good this grilled one i think the one's going to be the worst out of all of them just because i don't have the right stuff and i didn't do it right but we'll see. I'm thinking between the panko and the salt tape are gonna be the best. All right, y'all, the meal is finished. I have the limes here, panko, 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 sauteed in the pan, and the blackened piece here, and some rice Liz Mom whipped up. Thanks, Liz, for the salt. All right. I mean, I'm not a picky eater, but I'll give you my honest opinion. Got the fish here, guys. Let's try it. Um, I'm going to try the sauteed first. Squeeze a little lime on it. Alrighty. This thing was swimming at 1 o'clock today, and it is now about 8 p.m. Which, let's see how fresh sailfish is cooked, not smoked. Honest taste test. It, that's really not that bad. I mean, I, from what Dave seen when we caught it, like him being hyped about it, it didn't look that bad. And you can see here, look how white that meat is. Like, it looked bad when I flayed it. When when I first flayed the fish, the meat was really bloody. I had it in the fridge for like two hours and the meat's been out since 2 p.m. or since we like butchered the fish. And all the blood seemed to drain out of the fish to the bottom of the bag and I think that's what got a lot of the red in it but I'm serious like I would eat this every day it's it's good um, especially it being fresh and getting the, the 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 stuff out of it I mean it's not bad at all I am very very surprised all right, now let's go to the grilled one. The grilled one's a lot more stiffer, of course. All right, squeeze a little lime on it as well. Um. Since I grilled it, it dried out the fish, and it's very chewy, almost like it's borderline between steak and chicken, but like I said, it's honestly, I guess it's just how you cook it, and since I had it on that grill so long, it's uh, got it to be more chewy, but I'm not going to lie, it's not bad, like. If you gave this to anyone that likes fish, and if you do like fish, you would definitely like this fish. And harvesting it if you do it the right way. 
not a bad idea. But look how white that meat is from a sailfish, which is impressive. But like I said, I really think as soon as we got that fish, we came home, butchered them, had them in the bags. The fish looked, it looked bloody. I cut all the blood veins out of the fish. The fish was in the bag. I sat it in the fridge for maybe two, three hours. All the blood, like from the from the weight of the fish, it seemed to just drip down to the bottom of the bag. And it was good. And I think cooking it in saute, like I, I just cooked this thing in butter really slow. Cook this piece. It's delicious. I mean, when you're cooking it in the butter, it keeps the juices in there and keeps the the meat from drying out just very very tender and let's try the good old panko right now i'm excited about this no remoulade everything here has no spices no sauce i just told you how i cooked them and i'm just drizzling a little lime i actually have salt here and I haven't even put it on because i just want to see how sailfish is just plain The fish ain't that, it's not like so spectacular, spectacular, excuse me, but every dang sailfish I catch, I want to harvest it, you know. It's not like that amazing, but it's amazing enough, like every once in a while, you want to harvest it, get some smoked fish stick, excuse me, I said, just cut that out. If you want to get some smoked fish dip, or and get some you know flays to eat you know for food to stock up i mean it's worth it smoke this the, if you got your special recipes with the dip and i guarantee you like i did this the most basic possible i didn't do no herbs no special spices no special recipe i just cooked it in three different ways just to kind of get an idea but I'm almost liking the one with the butter better than the panko. Unless I had some like remoulade with this, but. Everyone who watched the video, thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed the video. I had a great time with Dave. This was awesome. You know, doing a catch, clean and cook with my first sailfish. And I'm really happy I started this channel because I'm able to capture, you know, moments like that just for me to, to go back and look have memories that happened through, throughout my life and share them with you guys. But keep those lines tight. Get out there, do more what do you love what you love. And thank God for another day. Have a good one. And I'll see you guys back out on the water.